Hello and welcome to Q&A, Flute Q&A number 44. Number 44. So this question comes from Diana. It's a great question about scales on the flute and where to find different types of scales. So my name is Jane Kavanagh. I am a flute teacher. I live in Australia. I teach people the tweaks of proper technique. So making tiny little adjustments to your playing that instantly improve how well you play and how good it feels to play. These are often little tweaks that uh, students missed out or adult students missed out on when they were a beginner. And they've sort of had these habits all through their playing. They don't even realize that it's holding them back until they learn a tweak like this, proper technique tweak. And they're like, oh my gosh, I can hold my breath. I can hold my hold a note for longer. Or I have an instantly clearer sound or I don't get dizzy anymore or I can play high notes suddenly or my fingers can move suddenly faster. These are the sorts of revelations that students have in the Flute Academy when they join me to learn. So Diana's question is, where did I see different kinds of scales? I remember seeing one for jazz. Okay, so I've got a great resource for you, for you Diana. Um, have you heard of flutetunes.com? It's a web, the most amazing website of free flute music. They also have some good articles and one of the articles, it's more a, like a reference than an article on scales. So I'm gonna put that link to you, uh, for you below the link to that um, page on scales, including the jazz scales that you're talking about, which I'm thinking are probably blue scales that you heard like this. This is a blue scale. It's used in basic jazz improvisation. So I'm not a jazz player, but these scales are very handy to start getting into jazz improvisation. So on that flute tunes page, you'll see that there's a link specifically for blues scales. So that's might be the one you're looking for, Diana. Now, there are two ways that I practice scales. Um, sorry, I totally said the wrong thing. There are two ways that I, how I teach scales. So one of the technique workshops inside the Flute Academy is how to easily memorize your scales because that's one thing that um, students often think that they're having difficulty with. The truth is, and I want you to think about this, Diana, when you're looking at this link that I uh, have put for you below. The truth is that I actually don't want you to play the scale off the music and then try and memorize it. I want you to actually look at the, the scale, understand how it's constructed. So if it's a major scale, for example, you know that C major has no sharps and no flats. You look at the scale, you're like, okay, I understand that. You put the music away and then you play it with no music. So you actually learn it without music. And this is what I teach inside the academy as well. You'll find that really helpful because it ingrains the scales much more into your brain, your body, your fingers. Now, the second place uh, of where I teach scales is in inside the Flute Academy. There's a course called the 45 Day Flute Transformation. There's a module in there in that course called Faster Fingers. One of those lessons is specifically about how scales can help you get your fingers faster. It's not the main reason, the main way, and you, you would know if you've done the 45 day flute transformation, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's removing tension from different parts of your body. Uh, um, basically going through and identifying tension in your body, releasing that tension, and then your fingers magic, kind of magically move faster. Once they're moving faster, then we get onto the scales. And I give you a sheet uh, in this course called the 45 day, of <laughs> I don't know why I said that, I called the lifetime of scales, I've got all these phrases in my head, the lifetime of scales sheet. And it's basically lots of different types of scales and I teach you how to play them as well in this lesson um, in the course. The lifetime of scales sheet, the reason this is an interesting sheet is because it gives you an order in which I teach scales, not just major scales, um, but different types of scales. An order in which to learn it, which is going from the easiest to the hardest. There's a little bit of flexibility in there depending on whether you find high notes difficult or high notes easy, uh, but it's an order in which to learn them. And it's the order that I teach my students and it works like a treat, learning your scales in this order. Because it's not um, necessarily from no sharps, no flats to seven sharps and then seven flats there's back and forth because some go higher than others. Anyway, I'll put a link to the Flute Academy in case you're interested in checking that out. Um, so Diana, some more examples for you. Uh, blue scale, which I played you already. Another jazz one that's used in improvisation is a mixolydian scale. 
it's like a major scale with a flat seven. So if we, let's say we play G major, G major normally has an F sharp, um, that's the seventh note, and we turn that into an F natural instead of a sharp. <laughs> It's called a mixolydian scale. Another one that's used in jazz quite often, there's lots of things used in jazz, um, but another one that is used in sort of getting getting into improvisation is a Dorian mode scale. And a Dorian, you can think of it like a, let me just work out how to describe this. It's like a minor scale. So it's if I start on D, it's kind of like D minor but without the B flat, which is the six. So it's like a raised six, and then you don't raise the seven. So we have all naturals starting on D. <laughs> Diana, you'll find a, a link to these types of scales that I mentioned. So the blue scale, the mixolydian, and the Dorian in this link that I'm giving you below. And you can investigate further. Just remember to work out how they're constructed and then learn the scale without music. Uh, it's way better, way better for your playing if you do it that way. So, uh, oh, I had a question for you, not just you, Diana, but anyone watching this video. What is your favorite scale? So your favorite scale on either on the flute or on any instrument. I'm assuming that you're a flute player if you're watching this. So we'll go with what is your favorite scale on the flute. I'd love to know. People have different favorites. I quite like F sharp major. It's got six sharps. I don't know why. It just feels nice. feels nice under my fingers. <laughs> Just has a nice balanced feel. So what's your favorite scale and why is it your favorite? Maybe it reminds you of um, learning the scale, which you enjoyed. Maybe it reminds you of a certain piece. Maybe you find the scale particularly helpful with something that you're learning. Or maybe you like the sound. Like, so say it's a mixolydian scale. Maybe you like the sound of the scale. So I'd love to actually know what your favorite scale on the flute is. If you're on YouTube, put a comment below and I'll see you in the next Q&A. Bye.